Welcome to Terribly Accurate and to the month of March. In this video, we are going to look at the overall vibe for the month. Will you find your pot of gold? Are you gonna get lucky in love? Where do you need to push your luck to get ahead? What rain will be hitting your life? What will the rainbow after be? And then if you stick around all the way to the end of the video, you will find out what is your crystal of the month and what is it good for? How's it gonna help you? As well as figuring out how you can get a free reading from me. This video is for Leo. Sun, moon, rising, but not Venus. Unless you are spying on somebody else's um, love forecast, for example, then it's for their Venus. But this video right here is going to show you how to get the most out of these videos that I make or that anybody else makes for taroscopes, horoscopes, whatever, or even ones that you would read online. And one more thing, there are links below to connect you to the taroscopes that I've been making online for all zodiac signs. And now let's get started. Leo. What is your overall vibe? And they're like being totally open to the gift that you might receive from the universe or from other people. Like before you might not have noticed it, you might not have taken advantage of it, but all of a sudden now you're like, ooh, I see that, I want that. And other times, you know, in the past, you might not have allowed people to help you out. You might have been all Miss Independent, right? Or Mr. Independent, and you have things completely under control and you don't need help from anybody, but right now they're saying, hey, yeah, take advantage because it's only going to help you get more organized and be more successful at the things that you're trying to get. This helps you to be more fully you, that full empress vibe where you're like nurturing and, you know, if the sun stops shining, you just continue to glow in its place because you are the fieriest of the fire signs. So congratulations on that. That's amazing. Just like you are, everybody's going to put you on that pedestal that you like to be on <laughs> and that you deserve to be on actually, okay? Now, um will you find a pot of gold this month so what's up with your finances and what they say is like everything's kind of balanced like you see how this is going to sound kind of crazy but the top of his hat looks either like a condom or like a thimble okay like you'd put on your finger if you're sewing and so they're like you've taken the appropriate precautions that you need to um everything seems kind of balanced there is stuff kind of in the background that you can't see yet as you're like trying to balance everything out in your life and in your financial world um, that has positive things for you, like ships coming in from out of nowhere that you can't see. So a lot of positive juju for you this month, um, but kind of a little bit of a surprise month for you. Will you get lucky in love if you are single? And they're like, if that's what you want, hell yeah. You just have to believe it. You just have to focus on what it is that you desire and it'll just poof, pop up in your life. Will you get lucky in love if you are coupled? And what they're saying is like the seeds that you've planted in your relationship, they take time to grow and you should be pretty proud of what's growing here, you know? So if you've decided like, I am going to resolve myself, to not yell at my partner. Like I'm gonna try to communicate, you know, with positive reinforcement instead of nags. You're gonna start to see all of that paying off for you this month. So yay, good for you. And if you're in a complicated relationship, which it's like on again, off again, maybe it's just kind of budding and starting, you're just talking to somebody, but you haven't done the deed yet, anything like that. They're saying communication is key this month. Um, and you know, the more that you communicate, the more you might learn that you're not really into it. You might not really want them. They might not really be for you. And the sooner that you communicate and learn that, the sooner you can go, okay, well, maybe I want to take advantage of that singles vibe where whatever I want, I can have it and just cut that loose. They're like, you get to sleep on it for a second, but I think if you're super honest with yourself and with other people, that you will easily be able to discern what is and what is not for you. Okay, so where in your life do you need to push your luck? Where do we need to co-create what it is we're trying to manifest in our life this month? And they're like, just that whole thing of like relinquishing control. So a lot of times we might think, hey, this is the thing that I want. And then we try to devise a plan to get there. Whereas sometimes it's like, I just know I want this thing and I'm gonna focus on it. And then like allow the universe to create opportunities for us instead of trying to make things happen the way we want them to, okay? That's the vibe there. So what kind of rain might show up for us 
this month? Um, what are like the warnings? And they're saying you might not be your strongest this month. You might feel weak. Maybe, you know, influenza or something gets you down, something like that. Um, but what is the rainbow and the reward at the end of that? And they're like, well, that kind of gets you away from having to work on things that you didn't really want to work on, things that aren't for you. It kind of points out to you what is and isn't going to work for you. So let's say you're feeling like extra crappy after you went out on a drinking binge all weekend. Well, now you realize, hey, hmm, maybe it's time to not drink so much or to stop drinking at all. That's just an example. But what they're saying is, you know, some of you have been lying to yourselves about what does and doesn't work for you in regards to your health. Now, this can be taken in many different ways. So, you know, if go with your intuition, whatever kind of like strikes you first as far as health goes, that's probably it. And if you're still confused, you can hit me up for a personal reading. But, you know, like some people, they might work out too hard and then it ends up, you know, they tear a muscle or they break a bone or they go into exhaustion you know, whatever, and they're hospitalized for that. And so they're like, you know, quit lying to yourself about that stuff. <laughs> like, we all want to act like and think that we are younger than we are, but, you know, the universe thinks different. <laughs> so they're just saying, you know, take advantage of the insight that the universe, that um, the signs are, are giving you. Pay attention to this kind of thing and take opportunities to rest because even though it might drive you crazy that you can't have everything exactly how you want it, when you want it, and go at you know extreme all the time, you can't just like go 100 miles an hour all the time. Like, don't let it bug you because sometimes just laying around watching Netflix is exactly what you need, and it's kind of it can be like a spiritual moment. <laughs> there could be some real cute things that you pick up on in your rest, whether that's you know, in your dreams as you're sleeping or, you know, just different things kind of click for you when you're laying around watching TV, feeling all sicky. Okay, so now we are going to switch gears and talk about your power crystal of the month. I bet you're wondering how to pronounce this stone's name. Chrysoscola. Chrysoscola is one of these stones that we do not want to put in elixirs. It is not safe to ingest. However, it is safe to set on your skin just don't put it in your body. Don't put it in your mouth. Don't put it in your butt. Don't put it in your vagina. That being said, this crystal is safe to run under cold water and it's safe to cleanse in salt water and it can also be left in the sun to charge up. The angels associated to this stone are Azriel and Raguel. The chakras associated with Chrysoscola are the throat chakra, the blue one on your neck, and the heart chakra, the green one, right in the center of your chest. The reasons you might want to use Chrysoscola are for emotional awareness, for emotional healing, as well as emotional stability. This crystal helps you to be more self-aware, and it helps you to accept the changes that are going on in your life, and it helps you to set goals that are healthy for you and to strive to achieve them. This stone gives a lot of energy balance benefits, it donates energy to you when you're feeling kind of lethargic or kind of gross, a little bit down, but then it also mellows out your energy when you're a little too hyper or agitated. The Chrysoscola stone will help you to ease feelings of guilt and it encourages feelings of forgiveness. This stone is excellent for harmonizing groups and environments. The Chrysoscola stone helps to fight infections, especially in the throat and the tonsil. As I mentioned previously, do not put it in your mouth, but you may set it on top of that throat chakra. This stone will help to reduce inflammation, especially in the sinuses, especially in the sinuses tonsils, larynx, and lungs. Therefore, if you have sinus problems, you can place this stone on your face exactly where you're feeling that. You can place it on your throat and you can also place it on your chest. The Chrysoscola stone helps to detoxify and reinforce your liver, kidneys, and colon. The Chrysoscola stone will help balance out sugar levels in the blood and will help to treat the pancreas. So this is a good stone for diabetics to use, although if you are on insulin or any drugs, um, to treat your diabetes. This is not a replacement for those therapies. It just will help facilitate 
the function of those drugs. Chrysoscola helps to balance hormones, to reduce tension, and to promote relaxation. It accelerates the healing of burns and it lowers fevers. It treats ulcers and many other stress-related digestive problems, including irritable bowel syndrome. Chrysoscola is not safe to put in your mouth or in your butt though. Keep that in mind. Another benefit of Chrysoscola is that it can help to regulate the nervous system as well as the heart. 